it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers. I'm here for my weekly update for May 7th through May 13th, 2018. Well, this won't take very long. First thing I sold was a Bee Cleban cat pillow with a kiss on her cheek. I picked this up at an estate sale. It sold for $23.24. I collected $26.90. It, I paid $2 for this at a estate sale, an estate sale. And uh, it sold fairly quickly, uh, $7.20 for PayPal, eBay, and shipping costs for a total profit of $17.70. It took three days to sell. Here's uh, another home movie. This one was awesome. So this had this older couple. They were so stinking cute. Um, here's some more from that. Anyway, they were snowmobiling on these completely rectangular snowmobiles it was hilarious and then there were all these people in like such 60s 70s gear and then doing a bunch of yard work anyway it was kind of random it sold for nine dollars 29 cents they paid shipping so i collected eleven dollars 95 cents it cost me about a dollar i had an auction lot where i had a bunch of movies and some other uh, camera equipment four dollars 30 cents for shipping and fees for a total profit of six dollars 65 cents and it took three months to sell this is a, the last of the Maori carvings from an estate sale. I only had two of them. Sold for $34.99. They paid shipping, so I collected $45.79. I paid $8 for this at an estate sale. I thought it might have been worth more, but it's fine. It sold relatively quickly. $16.30 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $21.49, and it took a month to sell. This is Littlest Pet Shop. I had two of the same, so I set them up as a twin set, hoping that maybe some twins would appreciate that there were um, a couple or, you know, might be a fun gift for a set of twins. Anyway, they sold $9.99. I collected shipping, so I got twelve sixty-five on that. I paid about a dollar. I pay about a quarter a piece usually for little pet shops. Four forty-eight in shipping and fees for a total profit of seven dollars seventeen cents, and it took three months to sell. Seattle Mariners. This uh, I believe went to Japan, which is cool because this is a Japanese player that played for Seattle Mariners. Uh, it was true fan made in Haiti, so I'm guessing maybe some vintage. Yeah, two thousand one. $24.99 is what it sold for. It did global shipping, so that's what I collected as well. I paid a dollar for this at Dollar Day, Goodwill. $7.35 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $16.64. took 11 months to sell. And the last thing I sold, Tinkerbell hat. This came, I think, in the consignment bag, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it sold for $11 with free shipping. She... Uh, emailed me in the middle of the night and I unfortunately was up and I responded. I just took the best offer because it has not been a super great week for me. So I paid a dollar for this, four twenty nine dollars in shipping fees for a total profit of $5.71 and it took two months to sell. Okay, so looking at the numbers, $113.50 for everything that sold. I collected $133.28. $14 uh, cost of goods, $43.92 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $75.36. You just got to laugh or you'll start crying. Amazon merch, 12 shirts were sold, three were returned. This is a new thing for Amazon merch. And it seems as though the returns are hitting me fairly hard because my total profits were $39.40. So each time they deduct, each time a shirt is returned, I mean, I totally get it. But if it's because... They screwed up at the factory and somebody returned it and then they had to replace the thing for free and they're charging me for returns. I might have some issues. So I'd like to know the reasons why they returned, if they just didn't like the shirt or if there was a misprint. So uh, I just wonder about their quality control since they're doing so many of these. Anyway, my total profit for my e-commerce adventure this week, 114.76. And... I gotta put my nose to the grindstone and get some listings done. First off, I want to apologize for yesterday's 
little snafu. I uploaded a video and my son immediately looked at it and he was pretty upset with me because he had shot the video in 4K and I had uploaded it in 720p and he's really sensitive to that kind of stuff. I, I keep telling him you should go into that because most people wouldn't notice. So anyway, I'm sorry. I know uh, there were people that had started typing comments and then the video disappeared and I re-uploaded it later with 4K. So I, I just want to apologize for that. Yikes. That's all I got to say is uh, I am shocked how little I sold, but I have some challenges at home. Our house has no walls, and so I easily get distracted. So I am hoping that I can start to really impress upon my family that I I need time for work. So I guess my tip to you is not to panic when you have a bad week. It should just motivate you more to work harder. And if you need to explain to your family that you work from home, and I know the kids are getting out in a lot of places around the country in the next week or two, and my rule at home and my family now knows that if I have my headphones in, when I'm sitting there typing at my computer, that means that I am working and that I'm not to be disturbed. So you just need a visual clue, um, a visual cue to give to your family to let them know that you're working and to take it seriously, take it like a job. I think uh, Nicole State, she was talking about being honest with yourself and looking at your listings and making sure that you set the right price and that you have stuff that people want to buy. There are millions of things sold every day on eBay and you just need to figure out what that is. Uh, the used market is, is a tough one. It's competitive, especially in clothing. So you need to do your research and spend some time with your headphones in so your family knows that you're working even though you're just doing research. And make sure that you're selling things that people want and at the right price. So with that bit of advice and uh, a a word of encouragement not to give up, to keep working. Some weeks are better than others. You know, I only made $100 this week with Amazon and eBay, but maybe next week I'll make $400 if I really buckle down and spend some quality time listing. And I'm trying some other platforms uh, with the consignment store. She's kind of clearing out her store, so I'm trying an experiment on Macari and Posh. I haven't sold anything. Uh, I've sold some lots on Macari. It seems like Macari is more... For people who want $5 things and posh is more for the trendy millennials and teens. So uh, they don't, they'll pay a little bit more for stuff. Their fees are a little higher. If you sell stuff for under 15, it's a $3 flat fee. So you have to be a little bit careful. You can't go selling stuff for $5 or else you won't make any money. But uh, so I'm learning those platforms and trying to just kind of crank through some clothing. That was my other challenge with last week is that I spent a day kind of putting things up on Macari and Posh Mark and trying that. And I haven't seen any results yet, but maybe I'm I'm still in a steep learning curve. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Kyoto flea market. It was a fun thing to film. There were a lot of things that I wish that I had bought in hindsight. Um, those mail bags or whatever those were, those canvas bags were about five bucks a piece and I don't know why I didn't pick those up. The the lunchbox was $25 basically and he wasn't willing to negotiate and, and it that was about what it was worth on eBay as, as near as I could figure. So I didn't pull the trigger on that. As much as I liked it, I got I, I knew not to get sentimental. I would have been in it uh, for $5, but for $25, it, it didn't really make a lot of sense. So anyway, if you want, go check that out. And I want to thank you to my loyal watchers and hanging out with me this week. And I will have another video for you probably next Monday. Have a good week.